I just wanted to turn the camera on and yap. I have recently, so, so much recently, been thinking about old YouTube versus new YouTube. And I saw a particularly compelling video on it today, and I just wanted to give some of my thoughts regarding it. Uh, this is not me reading from a script. This is not me. This is literally just my, just kind of sharing my thoughts on where I stand with the whole old YouTube versus new YouTube thing. I have, for the last two or three years especially, been really, really prioritizing the hyper for the algorithm content for one simple reason. I would like to grow my channel. I would like to, frankly, if I'm being completely honest with you, make more money from making videos. That's not the primary reason I'm making videos, but if you're not careful, that can be the primary reason. And I have, for a couple weeks at a time here and there over the last year, been like, why should I make videos? I'm not making money from them, or I'm not making substantial money for them. I'm making money from my back catalog of videos. I'm not making any money from recent videos that I'm putting out. So all of that to kind of sort of say that I want to go back to YouTube being fun. Now, this is not me nostalgia baiting. This is not anything like that. I I do think nostalgia is important, but very, very dangerous because if you view nostalgia through the lens of, oh man, times were so good back then. They were just so incredibly good. Then one, you covet the past, but two, you, you miss what's there. You miss what's in the present. And I don't want to miss what's in the present while making videos. I don't want to be completely and totally my, you know, 2018, just sit down, record a game for an hour, post it same day. I don't want to do that. But what I do want to do is I want to stop having my number one focus making my videos be, oh, I need that one out of ten on the YouTube dashboard. Oh, I don't want to see those red down arrows, so I need to make sure that I have an effective hook at the start of the video, a reason for people to keep watching, a solid video idea, a killer title, a killer thumbnail, a killer SEO on the video. That's exhausting. <laughs> and it's led me, personally, to a point where, frankly, I feel burnt out making videos. I've felt burnt out this entire year making videos, in case you can't tell by the fact that I've posted like six or seven videos this year. 2024 has not in fact been the year of Timmy Buck Productions. And that's okay, because I've been focusing on other things. I've been focusing on a very, very large decision that I had to make earlier this year in May. Huge decision, probably the biggest decision I've ever made in my entire life but I'm saving that for another video. I want to go back to YouTube being fun and me not necessarily hyper, hyper focusing on a video. Uh, for, for a perfect reference, this is about how much I'm overthinking videos right now or how much I was a month ago. I wrote this a month ago because this is a complete and total video plan for an upcoming video for a Raycons review. Due to the simple fact that the Raycons review made me a lot of money. I'm not even gonna try and sugarcoat it. The the Raycons review, the the purchase that I made of some $70 earbuds like almost two years ago now bought me a phone. It paid itself in ridiculous amount just by far and away some of my highest earning videos because people want to know because people see their favorite youtubers promoting raycons and they want to know oh, are these things actually crap or not which is why i would still take a raycon sponsorship <laughs> but i want to be honest with my reviews and i don't want to 
sugarcoat things with with unsincerity or I don't want to hide details of a product because oh I'm promoting the product a perfect example of a product that I took recently that I was extremely it, it's not recently now it's like six months ago now at this point but a product that I was legitimately like stunned by and I was like this is amazing quality I would genuinely recommend this to people is the mic arm that my you can't really see it in the frame I just looked over and you can't see it at all but the Fifine BM88 mic arm not trying to sell out it's an amazing product that is the kind of videos I want to make where it is legit and that video was a little hyper edited to try and you know lock in your retention and give my thoughts on the microphone while also crafting a super super in-depth YouTube video. I don't want to focus on that quite as much. I don't want to focus on, oh, the hook has to be there. The perfect, perfect attention grabbing details have to be there. The, the super fast editing. I don't want to focus on that. So, all that to say, I'm going to be focusing on a more simple editing style over the next couple videos and I'm hoping to post more videos. Also, hi, hello, it's me editing Timmy. I completely forgot to mention earlier that I'm going to be uploading a bunch of content across two other channels as well. So anything you can't find on the main channel, this is going to be gaming videos, gaming live streams, a bunch of gaming content and some reviews on games as well will be on my side channel, Timmy Bug. And then any movie content I make, whether that be uh, shorts, whether that be full-length videos, movie reviews, things like that, I'm going to be putting up on my other movie channel, which is called One Minute Movies. I'll leave both of those links in the description down below. All that to say, have a good day.